wanted to put this video out because I just got this uh, text message here. Um, and it set off my, uh, my suspicions right away uh, from a number I don't recognize, obviously. Uh, it just happened a, a few minutes ago. Um, so it just says your HST has been sent, referring to the, um, uh, the Canada, uh, or the Ontario at least, uh, tax rebate. Uh, and then it gives a link. Um, so first off, the number, uh, let's take a look on, um, on our Canada 411 here. Uh, there's really no information about it, so it's just some made-up number. It, does, it doesn't correspond to anything. Uh, any government number would show up in here, obviously. Um, and then when we actually go to the website, don't do this, <laughs> but w when you do go to the website, it says, hey, here's your uh, deposit. The first thing I notice is uh, that is not an amount that is uh, normal, uh, and it won't be. It, you know, it's very rare for, for this amount uh, to match exactly what your specific tax situation is, so that should set off a red flag. So it's from Canada Revenue Agency. It doesn't just say a text, which is weird. Uh, Interact transfers don't have that. Um, but the biggest thing is this is not the Canada Revenue website. If I if I was to go and just search Canada Revenue Agency, um, I'm going to see it's at Canada.ca. So that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, so obviously it's a scam. But I just wanted to make this video to show the uh, amount of work uh, whoever set up the scam went to. Because, like, for example, if I go to Tangerine, uh, this looks exactly like Tangerine's website. Now, if I was to actually go to Tangerine's website, um, it would look very similar when I go uh, to log in. These two uh, login screens look almost exactly the same, like I'm flipping back and forth between them. Uh, yes, some of the fonts are slightly different, some of the exact layouts of the screen are slightly different, uh, but they have done a, a very good job to replicate this exactly, um, which is very concerning. Now, um, anytime you get one of these login things here, it all comes down to the URL bar, right? And uh, sometimes people say, oh, look at the lock icon. Lock icon doesn't mean anything if the URL bar is wrong. So here I can see this is actually still on their scam site, whereas I look at my, uh, or I look at uh, Tangerine's real website. Uh, any uh, app that does this, if they're redirecting you to a login page for uh, one of these other services, you should have your bank's website in the URL bar. Um, and then at that point, check for the lock to make sure that it's actually encrypted. But the main thing is, are you even on the website that uh, you're supposed to be on? In this case, we are not. We are on um, some sub URL of this website, which is not Canada's website. Um, so obviously, this is camp. But uh, you can see how sophisticated this is. It's very easy to get caught out if you weren't familiar with that. Um, this is something that people go, oh, you know, they're sending text notifications now. Isn't that great? Uh, well, it, no. <laughs> I think. I think most people would would probably have caught this, but uh, you know, just just be careful. Um, keep an eye on that URL bar there.